Hello everyone. Welcome to Thesis 123, Learn and Teach Online. Now I am going to teach you how to tune gains of PID controller or multiple controllers that is proportional gain KP, integral gain KI and derivative gain KD using signal constraint block in MATLAB simulator or even simple gain or multiple gains in a model can be tuned by using this method. If you like this video, please click on like or visit the website thesis123.com for more videos in future. Step 1. Take any model and connect in MATLAB Simulink with the help of your required blocks as per the problem. Let us take a simple model in MATLAB by using Simulink uh, library browser. I am going for new uh, file, MDL model file. In this, I am taking simple system of transfer function that you want to enter input sources I'm giving step one put I need one sinks sink score and PID controller I need it is from simulink extras additional linear PID controller and you need a sim sum which is available in commonly used blocks sum is here <coughs> now connect them input is connected here and the error is connected PID and we have a system or plant and given to this scope and I am taking a feedback from here like this and with the feedback of negative feedback negative sign apply now I'm taking one KP controller gains and defining as KP KI EKD if you have multiple uh, controllers then you can give uh, define as KP1 KI1 KI, KD1 similarly for other controller KP2 KI2 and KD2 like that you have to define now I'm taking uh, changing this model this is plant model let us take 50 by yes square any system this time generally I'm taking generally this one by s again 50 so now I'm uh, taking this second order system of 50 by s square plus by s plus 50 so this is my simple system I'm giving a uh, step input at initial it is 0 at time 1 second it is becoming 1 now I need a signal constraint block which is available in simulink response optimization which is signal constraint block add to title and this is connected where you want to signal to be in specific uh, limits so let us take this my output should be in specific limit so here I'm connecting this one now define this kp k kd values in uh, command window kp equal to 0 ki is equal to 0 ki equal to 0 kd is equal to 0 so these are the initial values I'm giving or if you already know some values, initial values, you can also initialize to that values. Now double click on, click on signal constraint block, you will get this block. Now go to the optimization, tune parameters, add these parameters of KP, KI, KD. So just shift all of, select all of them. And also you can also give the what is the minimum value of different kp you have minus infinity plus infinity so you can also define if you know already just i'm giving some range 0 to 100 0 to 100 value k value 0 to 10 kd value 0 to 10 so like this i given the range and initial value is already defined with 0 and 0 in these values. 
now you have to signal constant of you have to uh, give con uh, you have to check this one so you have to define this you have to change this uh, limits of this one so my system response should be till 1 it should be 0 after 1 it should be coming to one value so to this i have to i have to adjust these values simply you can by dragging this one you can adjust this one even you can also move it down with the peak overshoot should be less and uh, i can also go so i can set goals my desired response should be from one second to time is from one second to ten seconds the starting time will be one ten seconds you should uh, my response should be one at one second one at ten seconds one so this like this also you can give the desired response then you can click here track my track reference signal so this is it will try to not only coming uh, come into this bound but it also tries to track this line now after the loading this value just simulate this one so automatically this value system will try to come into your ones just see that the different values are trying to come here like this so at this response the values are kp k kd values are given as this one but it is not satisfied so again you can go go again here and start optimization again so now it will start from that point and finally comes to your required format so let us see so it is coming to almost a, yes it has done so now corresponding values are kp is equal to 12.43 k is equal to 10 kd is equal to 0.73 so this way we can tune the PID values by using signal constant block what is happening what is the methodology that is using you can go to the help and take the click on the simlink system optimization help so it will give you the complete details of this one how exactly it works what exactly uh, what is the mathematical behind it it will explain to you so this is a specifying the desired responses by using how you have to give the cursors how you have to move it and how to use the if you double click that way on that uh, lines you will also get the values where you can pick the values adjusting the weights so there are all the details about how exactly it works it is given in the help window so like this you can how much rise time overshoot setting time all these are clearly explained in explained in the help view. You can also see the command window kp is equal to this one, k is this value, kd is equal to this one. So by using this uh, kp kd values here, keep in your model, model, and uh, here in the model kp k value and run the for your system. If you have more than pa control, more than two or three control or gains are there, then use the more or more number of signal constraint constraint blocks. Just I repeat what I have done. In step one, I have taken the model and connected in MATLAB Simlink. Then uh, step two, connect the PID controller from the Simlink extras and additional linear block and connected in PID controller there. And step three, go to Sim Simlink response optimization, take signal constraint block and connect the place where you want to uh, optimize your response. If you have more than one response, take multiple signal constant blocks, but define control of gains with the different names. Initialize the gains if you know already, or give all values to zero as in a command window, and give the range if you know, otherwise also it will take from minus infinity to plus infinity. Generally, PID control of gains will take from zero. If your system requires, or they are also, the gains are taken as negative also, you can also use the negative values. Step 5, go to optimization, signal constraint block and click on tune parameter, add the gains from the workspace which are defined in command window or in any file if you have already. Adjust the access as per the requirement as I already explained to you and simulate. Finally, you will get the required gains in optimization progress window.
all the best thank you for thank you for your time and watching video don't forget to click if you like this and visit website for more videos and send email for any queries to info at the rate thesis123.com